What if I told you that the world, as you know, it is a copy? That you live in a generalized utopia. That you have, despite yourself, chosen to close your eyes to the horrors of this world. We continue with the rape of a three-year-old girl by her mother's ex-boyfriend. Angry and indignant, the family asks the authorities for help so that the little one receives care and that the culprit is arrested. We are going to open drawer cases endless drama. We realized it was a three-year-old girl who had been mauled to death. Her name was Mariam Asaya. She had come to this house that day to be adopted. The investigations made it possible to arrest these two men on the right and on the left. They killed her to get money from her body. I am convinced that in your family or your close friends, there may have been hiding or still hiding a narcissistic pervert. In Belgium, in Meurs in the suburbs of Liege, on April 7, 1998, the corpse of a woman was discovered while cleaning an aqueduct. The autopsy showed that she was beaten and strangled before being thrown into the Meurs. It was witness ANA Konya Voda. In the Dutrus case, at least 27 witnesses died, several of them in suspicious circumstances. Et puis comme on faisait très souvent dans ces familles-là, vice is nice, but incest is best, because it stays in the family. Vous savez, on élevait tout simplement avec le silence pour que surtout rien ne sorte. You know that today in our society, the plan of our society today, all the leaders in the whole world, you know that their plan today is about controlling us, knowing what we are doing, controlling us, transforming us into robots. They are wiping out anything that has to do with family, raping our children, promoting homosexuality, pornography, anything that is evil, increasing the Freemason. Hmm? And that is what the society today is about. It's about controlling us. It's about making us to become machine. It's about taking us away from our thinking for our right. You know, they are using everyday technology to really promote their evil deed. This is where the society is going. Are you aware? You have to wake up for the truth before you find yourself in the cave where you can't get out anymore. Their objective really is to transform us into animals. People who don't think anymore. It really is kind of like a new form of slavery where we have no right anymore, no liberty anymore. Just to do what they want us to do. And what they have to do, want us to do is their own agenda. They want us to become people of, they want us to not think about family anymore. That day, one of the greatest models in the world, Karen Mulder then aged 31, is present on the set to talk about the sordid affair surrounding the agency, is it? The English channel BBC had broadcast two years earlier an investigative report with hidden camera behind the scenes of this agency and lifted the veil on the sexual exploitation of this model by this agency. Karen Mulder had come to talk about it and explain how she would have been raped by the leaders of this world agency.
will be conducting an entrapment and rescue operation today. The neighborhood is very notorious for human trafficking, and we believe that some of the seven minor victims are related by blood to the perpetrator. The cyber trafficking operation will be conducted by our UC Homeland Security agent, who is in the United States. The woman puts the children on camera, giving Mike the evidence he needs to launch the operation. They're, they're young, they're all young. We call it a new form of evil in the, on the world. It's never been done by any government in the past. To take a large group of its own people and say, we're going to uh, kill you without any kind of a trial, uh, and we're going to sell your vital organ parts. An individual from the United States or Canada, for example, could anticipate undergoing transplantation on a specified date. It's a crime against humanity. It's, it's, it's abhorrent, and it needs to stop. Ritual abuse torture is perpetrated against children of all ages some as young as infants. If victimized children are not identified, they can become captive and enslave adult victims. Ritual abuse torture can happen in the home, in like-minded neighbors' homes, in buildings belonging to ritual abuse torturers, such as warehouses, cottages, cabins, on farms, out of doors, or any place that is safe for the perpetrators. Victims have reported incidents in 20 countries, including Canada, USA, Barbados, New Zealand, Australia, Antarctica, Madagascar, South Africa, Chad, England, and the list goes on. What you're about to see is a blight on this country, a shameful episode in our recent history that powerful people have either ignored or worse, tried to cover up. And it's likely it would have remained a dark secret, but for the courage of brave whistleblowers. One of them is Alicia, and she's made the tough and dangerous decision to speak up and shine a light on this disgrace. She's done it because she knows no matter the cost or consequence, there is nothing more important and protecting children. Scary. It's been 18 months since Alicia left the prison on stress leave. Despite still serving as a public official, she's decided to blow the whistle on what's really happening inside. What are you feeling? Um, exactly the same as I felt every day when I left work, I guess just that it's completely inhumane and wrong that there's children in that facility. I've said to them that I believe them. And I've said to them that I'll do everything that I can <laughs> to help. And um, I will. If it wasn't for whistleblowers like Alicia, it's unlikely we'd know what really went on here. How vulnerable children were mentally tortured and sexually abused. Their basic rights ignored by a cabal of staff. I think even after the Royal Commission and everything that the Salvation Army were asked about and the evidence that they gave, that no, children aren't safe in the Salvation Army right at the moment. The Salvation Army has delivered a formal apology to those mistreated in its care. They were meant to protect the most vulnerable children. Instead, they were responsible for some of the most shocking child abuse ever seen in Australia. We are sorry. Deeply so. For every instance when children were sexually abused by our personnel or while in our care. Are you saying that it's possible that some of the perpetrators have still not been identified? Not that I know of. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but um, there's no one out there that I'm aware of. Private schools in Queensland. The woman you're about to meet endured such horror it almost destroyed her. As a 12-year-old, Lyndall was sexually abused while a boarder at Toowoomba Prep, one of the Anglican Church's elite private schools in Queensland. Her attacker always told her, don't tell, no one will believe you. And as it turned out, 
He was right. Her cries for help were ignored by the school, the church and the then Archbishop Peter Hollingworth. He went on to become Australia's Governor-General while Lyndall's life spiralled out of control. But one day, Lyndall decided she'd had enough and what she did next saw the beginning of the end for the Governor-General. Lyndall's battle is now a movie called Don't Tell and tonight, for the first time, she does tell her extraordinary story. Someone who has abused your conscience in one way or another. I may be dangerously close to a taboo in your life. Perhaps adults have abused you and your voice as a child of the time has not been heard. Perhaps you yourself have had vile talked towards fragile humans in spite of yourself. It may be a neighbor, a colleague, a boss. I tell you, traumatic memory is no longer a question. It is a fact and a mass phenomenon. We are going to talk here about one of the blackest series discussed in the concept of the new world order of the kingdom of heaven. Hold on tight, because you might not like it. Stay in front of the screen and don't run away, because you have a duty to know the truth. The media lie to us and put blinders on to make us pass the red pill gently. My question for you, when were you worried about the last child kidnapped near you? Your mortification lasted less than an hour, didn't it? And do you know why? Because it was not your child. A child is kidnapped and killed in an alleged black magic ritual on Children's Day. The seven-year-old boy had his blood and heart ripped from his body, which was found lying in a gutter. The body of Danilo de Almeida Campos was found late Sunday evening. 13, after an intense search by residents of the Climber Bomb neighborhood in Maceo. The child disappeared when he left the house to bring a utensil to his father, who works a few meters from the house. According to the child's mother, Dasinia Carlos de Almeida, the boy was taken away by a woman on a bicycle. Also, according to the family, Danilo was the victim of a black magic ritual. According to witnesses, the boy's body was found wet, bloodless and with perforations in the region of the heart. Alago's police are investigating the case to confirm if it was a ritual death and are looking for possible suspects. Do you know that our governments have been complicit with absolutely everything that has been going on in the world? And the only reason for that is because our governments have been infiltrated by the children of Satan. Yes, you heard me well, the children of Satan. The ones, the very same ones that, that killed Yeshua HaMashiach. And they are none other than the Baccarats, who later on changed the name to the Bowers, who later on changed the name to the Rothschilds family. Yes, the Rothschilds. They are the children of Satan, and they are the ones that they have been controlling us. But not more. Not more. Because Babylon has fallen. You start to feel like Satan is the most powerful. And you start to feel like if you service God, that in life, it means you will not prosper. And the only way to prosper is in service to fame. And it, you know, it's like the devil stole all the good producers, 
The devil stole all the good musicians, all the good artists, all the good designers, all the good business people, and said, you gotta come over and work for me. And now the trend, the shift is going to, sh to change. Jesus has won the victory because it's talking about protecting your kids from the indoctrination of the media. The thousands and thousands of images that are fed to children by the age of six or seven. And within those images, there are images mixed in that we don't know about as parents that are purposely mixed in to lower the kids' superpower and esteem so that they can be more susceptible to consumption and feel that they need to consume and become a part of the robotic numeric system that controls so many, so much of the media. And I really want to call out Fox 13. Really here? That you? Shame on your news station. Shame on Adam Hurwitz. Yeah, Bob Kelly, we want to be clear. We never named David Levitt or anyone else as a suspect, and neither did investigators tied to this case. Most agencies don't want to talk about it, but today in court, a judge asked many of the same questions we've been asking. And for that reason, we finally got a few more answers about the direction of this investigation. Message that detectives are investigating ritualistic child sex abuse across three different counties over a 20 year time frame. This is the investigative file. So there is, um, about a thousand pages of, of uh, information there. Hypnosis was a big part of it. He told me that from the very beginning, that that was his main technique. Dr. would say, do you want to be healed of your homosexuality or not? These kids, when you see Britney Spears, when you see Amanda Bynes, when you see any of these young pop stars have meltdowns, that's not because they're famous. That's not because of the pressures of stardom and the money getting to them. It's because they're sexually abused and handed around like candy. Yes. And the devil? And the devil. Please do not forget that hatred or evil, whatever you want to call it, it's intelligent, it's smart, and it's invisible. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a race. It doesn't have a religion. It has no politics. It's an invisible snake. This is a bigger problem because most people know in that world and the world that I come from in Hollywood, that it is a hidden layer that everybody knows is there. When the Me Too movement started in 2017, I reached out to several of my female actress friends who were prominent in LA. You would know them by name. Many of them you would know by just their look because you go, oh, that was her in that movie or that movie. And I said, well, what about the children? What about the children? And they and the response was, we know, we know. But they were silent on it. And it destroyed me because it destroyed my illusion of what rights, human rights were, children's rights were. This is a child abuse system that we have been living in for a very long time and it's been allowed to go on. And I will not be silent about this because it affects every single one of us. The people on television who smile at you, who tell you stories, who give you news, are the ones who hide all of this from us. They are not talking about the real issues. They are distracting you with division issues. And there's another layer to it, but it's too unbelievable to believe that they would also sacrifice kids. The predators are not just raping and having sex and torturing and beating these kids. They're murdering them for pleasure. This is not a pedophile. These are psychopaths. And they have no remorse whatsoever in what they're doing. These people don't give a shit about anybody. And they get up there and they smile in front of you. And they are in infiltrated throughout all of our institutions, including government. They own the politicians. Right and left. What we are gonna find out very soon is that there aren't Democrats and Republicans in the United States government. There's a unified cabal 
of controlled people who serve these powers and they keep the theater going for you and I to run back and forth and vote every four years. And I'm telling you this, I woke up because I listened to what other people were saying and I waited and I sought out the truth for myself. I didn't wait for the mainstream media to tell me. Every single time there is a disclosure in Hollywood, all of these kids, I worked there for 20 years, I saw shit that nobody should see. I didn't partake in things, it was just right in front of me, out in the open. This has been going on for decades, forever. Hollywood is just the most publicly visible because it's out in our faces, it's on our airways, it's on our TV all the time, it's in our music industry. You would not believe the level of satanic crap that is in there. And if you had told me this three years ago, I would have said, you're crazy. I thought, you know, that's a little, that's too far. No, 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 no. This satanic shit that is going on in our music industry and in Hollywood too, but mostly in the music industry, is so out there. Once you look at it and you see the occult symbolism, they use it in everything. Baphomet is everywhere. Pentagram is all over the place. And they sew it into the, to the consciousness of these young kids through witchcraft and all sorts of fun stuff. They make it fun. They make it sound fun. The, the title of the book is The Bloodlines of the Illuminati. It programmed DID, or what was commonly known for a couple hundred years as multiple personality disorder. They uh, program their members with MPD, and in order to do that, you have to have someone who will disassociate when they're traumatized rather than die. Have you been controlling? Are you being brainwashed? Did you know that CAA has a secret project called NKUltra in which they use the LSD drug to control human behavior? They use that on human beings they exper as an experimentation project uh, so that today what you see, what you watch, you've been controlled, you've been mind programming. You've been mind programming, you've been brainwashed. Do you really know that? That you've been brainwashed? Oh my gosh. Do not wait to become a victim, to become aware of the existence of these notions. Criminal networks. Manipulation of consciences. Brainwashing. Dissociative identity disorder satanic ritual abuse, child criminal networks, cannibalism, Freemason, black masses of all kinds, Illuminati, human sacrifice, child trafficking, demonic possession, allegiance to Baphomet, Blue Book Project, Luciferism and Satanism, UFO, CIA and FBI, snuff movies, communal raps, artificial intelligence, money, blood and power, murder of witnesses, disparities and convictions of whistleblowers, filthy traps, here is a brief overview of the topics we will cover in this subsection entitled The Black Box of the World. We are going to open the black box. We are going to open the black box. Pandora's box. Don't look away. It's ugly. But you have to see it. Leave TG, Disney, and all these references of television channels which instruct your children to be abused. It is your husband, your wife, your close relative who is abusing today. 
Will you wait until you are the next victim on the list with a dead or traumatized child in your arms to wake up? Don't deny the truth anymore. It's right in front of you. Hiding behind a pile of dead leaves so you don't care. And it's done on purpose. It's time to wake up. MBNK News TV is a broadcasting channel. We only speak the truth and it is based on the facts of this world. We will contrast all the evils of this world with the truth of the kingdom, the only truth. And the reign of the King of Heaven will be established on earth. Despite all the turmoil of the established world order, Stay tuned for the next episodes, which will wake you up next Thursday. There will be cross-dressing cases. You will understand that for more than 3,000 years, the devil and his cohorts have put into execution the plan of fatal destruction of the human, of the human conscience and of human becoming. It's hot. But I know the Holy Spirit is going to play its part so that the horrible truth will keep you from sleeping on your laurels any longer because now is the time. Stop sleeping. We will meet again at the top, in the abode of the eagles. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.